There were no survivors. On brighter news, a boy who was stranded in the forest, in the woods, for 54 days and finally made it back to his family. He was struggling in the woods, he was starving, and it was brutal. I can't imagine being like this. Did you just say womp womp to a boy struggling? We have managed to locate the child at 984 Chestnut Road in Canada. We, we've interviewed him and we'll show you what the footage is. So one of our cameramans wasn't here today. He was sick. So one of the news anchors had to uh, improvise for him. Yeah. Okay. So we are here at the base of NSTV, which is where all the crashes get investigated. And so Brian, we have Brian from the Cessna bush plane crash in northern Canada going to see his father. And how, how, how would you... How did you handle the situation after your pilot had a heart attack? Well, I bought a shelter underneath underneath this rock shelf I found, and I was able to scavenge the place for berries. Wow. I found some berries. I called them gut cherries because they made you sick. And then I was able to find the raspberries. But when I found the raspberries, uh, I had an encounter with a black bear. Wow. That is so cool. And so... When the plane crashed, what was your first thoughts? I'm gonna die. Real. Fair enough. <laughs> um, so, what would ha What would you think of, what, was there any inclement weather or any other turbulence in the way? Turbulence. Somewhere in the 40, 40 days, around the 40 day, 50 day mark, um, there was a tornado. Yeah. Wild. It, wow. it destroyed everything I had. How Wild. was the landscape? It was like just forests, to be honest. That's yeah. really impressive that you survived that. And once you got to the survival pack, um, what was your first thoughts on what was in it? Um, this is very useful. I still, I still didn't think I was going to get saved. Did you think you were rich? Yes, I did. Um, I what? was. I was basically Elon Musk. <laughs> so, Gross. what would have? So, when you were like adventuring out, was there any in those or advent, scavenging through the survival pack? How did you think? What would, what did you think that device was? I thought it was like a radio to communicate with people, but. I didn't know how it worked, so I was going to try it later. So how'd you get the survival kit is the thing. I had to build a raft out of uh, wood, and I had to tie it together with more wood. And um, Yeah, like, mo like most rafts. Yeah. Yes. And I went out to the middle of the lake because the tornado, it actually got the plane and took it up and to where the tail was sticking out of the water. So I had to swim the raft. It was super heavy all the way out to the middle of the lake and I had to dive underwater and go into the plane and I got the survival kit. Wow, so could you tell me more about this tornado? This tornado, it destroyed everything. It destroyed my shelter, it destroyed my tools, it destroyed my, my pen for the fish. Like most tornadoes, yeah. Yes, so kid, how did you manage, what did, did you use all of the resources up in that survival pack before you got rescued? No, definitely not. Wow. I only ate a little bit. So, I was going to have a big feast with like multiple of these meals. So why couldn't you use all of it? Because I got rescued immediately after. Oh, wow. nice, nice, nice. That's really, really cool. Ironic, but um, are there any more pieces that were like around the tornado? Oh, yeah. So... I got rammed in the ribs by a moose when I was catching the bird. Wow. I was cleaning it off at the lake, and then I got rammed twice in the back. Uh, so what did you cons- sure my ribs broke. All right, that's nice, real nice. Wow. Uh, what did you consume, though? Like, most humans need to consume food. I ate those birds that I was talking about. I ate fish, I ate berries. I actually found some turtle eggs that were laid by a snapping turtle. Nice. Or what I think was a snapping turtle. And I also ate rabbits. There were small ones and big ones. I called them I called the birds fool birds because like 
kind of stupid. Nah. Uh, so you told us earlier in the interview that they were called full hens, right? Yes. All right, nice, nice, nice. And what was the moose? The moose was a cow. It was a cow. <laughs> it was a moose. Nah. All right. Um, we have just interviewed Brian, and we have um, gotten a lot of information on how he survived and how he did a lot of other really, really great things while he was gone. And so here we have the head executive of NSTV, which we're at their facility right now, and he is search. He's he's the one who describes the cause of plane crash, but in this situation, we know the pilot had a very unfortunate heart yeah, attack. he had a heart attack. Um, and uh, so, and the recovery, the crash is actually in that main building over there. Turn the camera over there. Over in that main building over there. And so, <coughs> the crash was brutal from Ryan's perspective. And so, when we take over and Xander, the head executive of NSTV, his research was done that he was on, he was around 40 to 50 nautical miles off of his coast or his search area from his original flight plan. So when we, when he takes a crash, they send out people to investigate, right? Mm -hmm. And they never found him. And when he found the survival kit, then um, he was found. So we have Brian right here. Hello. Um, he managed to survive for what, 50 something days? 54. 54 days. Wow. That is really insane for a regular 13 year old guy that doesn't have any knowledge about survival, nothing. Except for. Of like reading books, that's how you knew the main yeah, controls. Movies. Wow, so yeah, there's Brian, and thank you, Brian, for interviewing with us. I have the camera for a minute. I have no idea what a nautical mile is. I honestly use ChatGBT for college and stuff. Um, I have no idea how we even located him. I just, I just press random buttons. All right, back to you. Okay, now time for our ad break. Hi, Nick was from State Farm here. Stuck in the forest with only a hatchet? Like your neighbor, State Farm will be there. Call 248-434-5508 for a quote today. Side effects may include Jake from State Farm doing your taxes, handling your calls, making all your meals, taking, uh, tucking you into bed, and replacing you from existence. If signs of this prevail, either call 505-503-4455 or 951-572 2602 to report an incident. Have you ever wanted to fly to Canada to say your dad, right? So fly Air Canada to have safe, um, cheaper, and comfortable travel. Um, uh, what was I going to say next? Uh, what he was going to say is that if you want to fly to Canada with your dad, choose, what was the airliner again? I don't know. I just, I'm on a rookie cut, here. Cut, 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 no, cut, don't cut, cut. It's funny. Cut, cut, cut. So there you have it. We interviewed the random kid from Chesna who had enough physical endurance to live in the woods for 54 days. Peace out, my Sigma Skibbity Rizzlers. Wait, 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 wait. Must have new Skibbity Dodge.